This video is sponsored by EV, Australia's very own Tesla and electric vehicle sharing platform. Okay, so currently the app is saying 19 amps, as is the car, and delivering five kilowatts of power. And you can ramp it all the way up to 32 for this location, 32 amps. And uh, yeah, the car responds pretty quickly. Hey everyone, you're with Tesla Tom, and thanks so much for joining me today on my YouTube channel. Today we're looking at software update 2021.36 in our Tesla Model 3 performance here in Sydney, Australia. First of all, we're going to look at the software update release notes, then we're going to go for a quick autopilot drive, and then we're going to test out the features at a local AC charger. All right, first of all, let's look at the software update release notes for 2021.36. Firstly, Auto Park. Auto Park now identifies perpendicular parking spots using painted markings and road edges. And we also get cold weather improvements. The windshield wiper wash sequence automatically adjusts to your vehicle speed to better clear salt and grime. That's good to know. We don't really get much snow here in Australia, but I suppose in colder climates where there might be snow and salt and grime, whatever, on the roads that gets washed up onto the uh, windscreen during the colder parts of the year, that might be useful for you. Now, the second part of this update is that you must download version 4.1 for your mobile device, whether that be iOS or Android, and that's to fully utilize the new features in software update 2021.36 for your Tesla, including the ability now to change the charge current and also set the charging time and departure times from your device. So let's have a look at it right now for version 4.1 on your mobile device. And of course, for iOS users, make sure you manually download it from the App Store. Sometimes it doesn't automatically download. So in the schedule tab, for this particular location, I'm currently at Melwood Oval, one of my local parks. You can set the departure time and charge time uh, as you would normally from the car. So departure time, uh, precondition the car, uh, set climate and preheat battery, and also set off-peak charge times as well as you normally would from the car. You can also set the charge time so you can enable scheduled charging as you would from the car. And you can start charging the car at whatever time you like at this particular location. Very handy indeed, much needed and long awaited. We've certainly been asking for this feature for a long time. So thank you very much, Tesla, for providing this for our mobile devices finally. You know, people ask me all the time, what is it really like to own a Tesla? How long does it take to charge your car? Can you actually take it on a road trip? And how fast does it actually go? Well, now there's a way to actually answer these questions for yourself using Australia's very own Tesla and electric vehicle sharing platform, ev.com.au. Because now with ev.com.au, you can hire a Tesla for a few days to try before you buy beyond that short test drive. You can hire it for a weekend to take it out on a road trip somewhere, or you can hire it as a gift for that special someone who's always talking about Teslas and EVs. You know exactly what I mean. So check out ev.com.au forward slash Tesla Tom and use my coupon code Tesla Tom to get $30 off your first rental. With an ever growing fleet of Teslas and electric vehicles to choose from, there's sure to be an EV car to rent near you. And now for the rest of the video. All right, guys, well, let's go for an autopilot test drive and then check out one of my local AC chargers at a shopping center near me to test out the new features for software update 2021.36 and also the Tesla app 4.1. Let's do it. All right, we are on the road and out for an autopilot test drive. Now, certainly one handy feature of owning a Tesla with such a good acceleration is that you can actually scoot out onto a main road like this very quickly. No cars today, but I'm just saying sometimes when it's uh, busy during peak hour, uh, the rapid acceleration out of a turn is very handy to uh, get out of a, a small street onto a main road like this. And you might have just seen me engage autopilot. I just double tap the right stalk there lightly, just the half tap, double tap, and uh, see these two blue lines there, the uh, tram track lines or uh, railway lines, I guess, train lines. Uh, this is basic autopilot auto steer, which is included with all new Teslas currently in Australia and I guess worldwide. And uh, I've got the FSD package. So this enables me to auto lane change and uh, also allows me to uh, have um, traffic light um, visualization as well uh, and also controls. Uh, so you don't have that with basic auto steer autopilot, but uh, having FSD package in Australia allows me to do that. 
and then you can just half tap that right stalk to match the speed to the current posted speed sign. If you don't have that feature, which I think is only with FSD package, as some people have told me, you can just tap the uh, posted speed sign to match your car's speed limit as well. And uh, with auto lane change, what I mean is you can actually indicate like this, and the car will automatically uh, change lanes for me. Pretty handy on road trips, I guess. Um, on highways, you don't have to brake autopilot or disengage autopilot to get around cars, slower cars. And uh, you're very handy indeed. And then you can uh, scoot back into the middle lane once you've overtaken the car with a safe distance around it. You can also adjust how quickly or how closely you want to follow the cars ahead of you with this right scrolly wheel, left and right. I want to follow number one pretty closely to the cars ahead of me because we're in Sydney. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. And uh, you can again uh, follow the posted speed sign like that with a tap on the screen like that. That matches the speed. I, I quite like the right uh, stalk tap just because I don't have to take my eyes off the road. Uh, instead of having to tap the screen there. And of course, being um, autopilot, it's not fully autonomous, of course. I do recommend you keeping at least one hand on the wheel, if not both hands on the wheel, and uh, yeah, obviously paying attention at all times. You occasionally have to just um, waggle the steering wheel just to let the car know that uh, you're alive, basically. All right, so we're heading into Chatswood now, and uh, there's a really nice set of chargers with solar panels above. Uh, the Charger, which I want you guys to see. Um, it's quite a nice, very picturesque Charger. Very green with solar panels above the Chargers, which are kindly provided by uh, Charge Fox on the rooftop of Westfield Chatswood. And I believe they are free to use. Parking is uh, two hours free. Uh, otherwise, it's uh, four hours with the Westfield app. And uh, we'll head in there very shortly. I'll see you guys soon. Okay, so we're just turning into Albert Avenue in Chatswood, and the quickest way to get to these chargers, if you are a local, is to climb this very convenient ramp up here on Albert Avenue, facing west. And this basically gets you all the way up almost to the roof. You just have to do one or two more loops of uh, the shopping centre car park ramp. And like I said, it's two hours free parking, automatic uh, ticket, or no ticket rather. Oh, it's all day free parking anyway, because of the lockdown, I guess. And uh, like I said, you just have to loop two more times. We're currently on orange. You loop up to the roof. This. One more up to the roof and a very picturesque set of charges here as you'll see very shortly. You can see the solar panels already there. And the charges are right in the corner. I have never seen this car park so empty. That's absolutely incredible. Unbelievable. And uh, just watch out for these bumps, They're very high. So if you've got uh, an adjustable suspension, make sure you set it on high, but the Model 3 suspension is high enough, thankfully, to clear them. There's another little high one here. And there we are, they are the uh, four charging spots. Well, three are painted, but they're actually four because there are two charge Fox boxes allowing two charges each. So there we go. So what I'm gonna do is, and by the way, thank you very much to Willoughby Council for installing these, or allowing Charge Fox to install them, I guess. I'm gonna park right here in the middle and set up the charging and then test out the app features. Should be good. See you soon. Alright, so here we are at the rooftop of Westfield and I've got my Type 2 EV cable plugged in one end to the car and then the other end is ready to go near the charger. So I do recommend you investing in a Type 2 EV cable for situations like this. 
where the charger does not come with a tethered cable. Now this is a Charge Fox charger, so I'm going to go into the app and unlock port B of station 1336. And I can hear a click there, and you can see the light flashing green there. And I'm going to do this with one hand, hold this up, and plug in the cable at this end, and then press the green button. Bit of a process with non-Tesla chargers, but that's okay. You can hear the click, and the app says charging your car. And that's good, that's a good sign. And the green light is flashing on the Tesla. Now, let's go to the Tesla app. All right, so on the Tesla app, now, with the updated version 4.1, and also software update 2021.36 on the car, you can actually alter the charge current back and forth like this. How good's that? So if you want a slower charge for whatever reason, you can do that. Bring it all the way down to, let's see, all the way down to five from the app. How good's that? Okay, so currently the app is saying 19 amps, as is the car, and delivering five kilowatts of power. And you can ramp it all the way up to 32 for this location, 32 amps. And uh, yeah, the car responds pretty quickly. And it's saying 32 amps and delivering 231 volts for seven kilowatts of energy. 24 of 32 now. Maybe I can't go so quickly. Let's uh, go up to 28 amps. Let's go again to 32. Let's see if the car follows. Hmm, kind of wants to stay at 28. That's interesting. But it's certainly delivering seven kilowatts now. But uh, seeing on plug share, most people only get about seven kilowatts at this location anyway, which is still pretty good for a free charger. And delivering 32 amps max, but currently it's 28 amps, uh, seven kilowatts. Very good. I do like this new feature that you can adjust. And you can also adjust it for this location too. As you can see, location Westfield Chatswood. As I said before, you can go to schedule and also to schedule the departure time and also the charge time, if you so wish. But uh, given this is a public location, it probably doesn't matter too much, but it would be very handy for the home charger for sure. Alrighty guys, that's all from me today. Hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Really appreciate that. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already yet. Have you seen any other features for software update 2021.36? Are you enjoying the new app with the uh, ability to change the charge current and also departure and charge times? If you are, please leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Alright guys, stay safe and until the next one, Happy charging.